After all we've gotten from these movies, you would have thought that just at least one time, Wick would have just been like, Come on, guys. I've basically committed mass genocide. You really think you're gonna stop me? Do you know who I am? Have you any idea how many anonymous henchmen I've killed over the years? And look at you, you haven't even got a name tag. You've got no chance. Why don't you just fall down? Go on, son. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for John Wick Chapter 4. And before I start with the main review, let's just give a massive round of applause to all of the stunt actors in this film. Everyone brought their goddamn A game. I guarantee you stunt people just in the entire industry were dying to get in this film. It looks like they almost die throughout several stunts in this movie. The stunts in this film are by far the best. That I can absolutely say without a doubt. The stunts in this film are phenomenal. There is one particular stunt near the end of the film involving stairs that I don't know how they did it without killing the person. I just absolute pinnacles to the art of stunt action choreography. Movie's pretty decent too. So I've been a real big fan of the first two John Wick films. The first John Wick film is one of my favorite action movies. I think that's a real great example of using exactly what you have and making something excellent with it. I think the budget for the first one was something between 20 to 40 or it was very concise. It was very particular. It still had great action sequences, but it did also focus on the story. <clears throat> I really speaking. I heard you struck my son. Yeah, well, because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Oh. I remember thinking that movie looked like dog shit, and I went and saw it, and the surprise on my face when I came out of that movie theater, that's one of my favorite film-going experiences. Going into that thing thinking it was gonna be crap, and in the end, it's one of the best action movies made in that previous decade. And then John Wick Chapter 2 came out. While the story, I think, was a bit weak, the action was upped, definitely. It started to get more of that style that the movies are known for, and it had a pretty solid ending. Number three, I call a filler mission. It looked the best by far, but I felt like there was such little substance for a movie that was over two hours long. And while, Chapter 4 is definitely the longest one. I feel it actually makes up for it because it does have story elements. It does delve a little bit more into the backstory of the entire society that John Wick is a part of. It does have a bit of fetch quests, but at least those fetch quests matter to pushing the plot forward. And especially with how the fourth one begins, it almost feels like the third one was even more pointless. Everything just gets better and better and better as the movie goes along. That was something that was so well done. Each escalation just got better and you didn't think it could get better, but it did. It offered you some absolutely incredible action sequences, including some one shots, which uh, let's just say I got a little bit of a Hotline Miami vibe from one of them. I feel that this film is the perfect accumulation of everything that the series has brought. It not only harkens back to elements from the previous movies, at one point during probably the best action sequence in the entire movie, they bring back one of the best tracks from John Wick 2, which is when he was going through the caverns, which is the best shootout, was the best shootout in the series in my opinion until 4 came out. I love the aesthetic of this movie. I think the aesthetic is fantastic. They really went to fucking town with the colors, the lights. They didn't even care. They're like, is there any reason to have this many bars of light around the room? Nah, does it look dope as fuck? Absolutely. And while John Wick is the main character of the story, I feel he actually says the least amount of dialogue in this one out of all the movies. There's a little bit more focus on additional characters that help, again, build in the lore. We got Bill Skarsgård as Douchey McDouche Douche, who is essentially kind of a more douchier, higher up, richer, fancy fuckboy version of the villain from the second film. But he is trying to bring an end to John's chaos that he has caused. And he actually kind of brings about the very, very big issue I had with the third film, is that the third film was nothing. I really thought chapter three was what chapter four is. And chapter four delivers in spades, at buckets, 
fucking truckloads. I cannot believe how long certain action sequences go. I cannot believe the brutality of them. I cannot believe the coordination of them. How's the story, though? It's pretty decent. Considering this movie is near on three hours long, it does hold your focus for quite a bit. If maybe taking a little bit of liberties, there's a few people in amongst the crowd of assassins who are after John Wick for particular reasons. There's Mr. Nobody who has an awesome dog who can just find John Wick wherever. They never really explain how. He just can. Donnie Yen is in this movie, and my god, I was so happy to see Donnie Yen in this movie. He's essentially just playing his character from Rogue One all over again. Like, he's a blind fucking assassin in this movie, and you believe it? He's Daredevil the gun, almost. And Donnie Yen's inclusion in this film is something that was sort of seen with Common's character in the second film, and a sympathetic adversary for John. You didn't want him to die, but you also didn't want John to fail. So having Donnie go after John is a great addition to the cast. He plays his part wonderfully, both in the action sequences, his character, and the fucking humor. The fucking humor is so good. I didn't expect to laugh as much as I thought I would have. And it wasn't just laughing at the intensity and the insanity of some of the kills. It was actually humor. Overall, John Wick 4 is very long. Maybe a little too long, but it's going to give you a fucking ride for it. It's got superb action sequences, the best in the entire series. It's got a story that, while I don't think is as good as the first one, definitely is on the same level as at least the second one. If anything, it definitely succeeds the second one a little bit more. I own the first two movies proudly. I don't own the third one. I would happily own the fourth one. It doesn't beat the first one for me. But I do know that I watched that movie before it got the hype train, before everyone's like, oh, you gotta go see John Wick. So I still have that bona fide, oh my god, this was not at all what I was expecting experience. So that would be my explanation to those of you who don't like the first one as much as I do. I know a few friends who had that experience, so I don't blame you on that. If I were to rank them all from bottom to top, I would go three, two, four, one. My initial hope was that it just wasn't as bad as three. It was better than three, and it was definitely better than three. It was better than two, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. Anyways, guys, in the end, my final rating for John Wick Chapter 4 is a six out of seven. It's one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I'm not surprised, but these guys always deliver. I'm amazed that Keanu and Donnie are near pushing 60 if they aren't already 60 and they're just kicking ass and taking names so well and just from a visual standpoint the movie's prophetic from a action standpoint the movie is religiously amazing and the story while simple is concurrent it works it does its job it keeps you engaged when they aren't shooty shooty bang bang those are my thoughts about the movie sorry it's so long-winded but what did you guys think of this movie let me know in the comments below interested to see what you had to say otherwise guys that's all from me i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe until then see you guys next time